Perform a sequence of transformations to map the movable polygon onto the stationary polygon PQRS. So this is the movable one right over here. So the first thing, let's just try to translate. And if I were to think about which points correspond to which other points, it looks like this point right over here would correspond nicely to point Q. So let me just translate them on top of each other. And they want us to translate it not by dragging it, but by actually typing in the translation. So if I want to translate this point to this point here, I have to increase my x coordinate by, let's see, I have to increase my x coordinate by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to increase my x coordinate by 7. And then I need to increase my y coordinate by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have to increase my y coordinate by 9. So that gets it over there. Now let's think about what I want to do now. Now let's see. If I rotate, if I rotate it, if I were to rotate this point around like this, then this point would rotate around like that. So I think I could do a 180 degree rotation now, and I think I will get to where I want to get. So let me now rotate. And I'm going to rotate about. Let's see, what would I want to rotate about? I want to rotate about around this point that I've already gotten. So around the point 4, 4, 4, 4. And let's try 180 degrees. Let's try 180 degrees. So let's see, that got me pretty close, but it didn't get me all the way. Let's see, if I were to keep, if I were to keep rotating, well, it looks actually just like I just need to flip this thing. So if I were to flip it over the line y over the line x equals four, then I would get right on top of this. So let me do this. So let me now reflect over the line. So the line x equals four, you could say that goes from four comma zero to well any any other any other point that where the x coordinate is four. So the four comma four. And there we go. We got it. We were able to get them on top of each other.